Babette, it's Randy. Listen, I'm trying to reach Fletcher. I've been calling his phone all day. He's not answering. Have you heard from him? Okay. All right, thanks. Man, this one is still bleeding. I've called four girls. None of them have heard from him. That's because he's in no shape to talk. How can you be so cool? You might have killed the guy. He came to my house, my house, threatened my mother, was following my sister. That man Fletcher, he crossed the line too many times. You crossed the line when you made me your charity case. Look, that is not what you are to me. Oh, please, Frankie, you needed a cause. I was in the hospital. You don't get it, do you? Get what? What this is, you and me. You and me? You think we have something? All right. When I first saw you at the ER, I felt something. In, in here, it was... It was like you and I had met before... I don't know, and I know that sounds crazy, but it's the only way that I could describe what this, this, like, pool, this tug that I have to you. That's why I can't forget you, Randy. That's why I can't walk away. It's why I can't, it's, it's why I hate to see you get hurt over and over and over again. I, I, I gotta do something. I had to fix it. Fix it? And you think you fixed it by committing murder? Hello? Celine. Oh um, my, I, I don't understand you. Calm down. When? Is Fletcher still alive? Hey, this is Franklin Hubbard. Leave a name, leave a number. Hey, Frank, it's me, Dad. Listen, um, when you get this, can you call me? It's really important. I appreciate it. All right. Okay, so when Frankie calls back, I'll set him straight. I let him know that Fletcher was not after his sister. I, and baby, I'm sorry. I really am. The night before Cass came to Pine Valley, you and I were in bed. You were holding me in your arms. And you promised you'd reach out to her. Let her know how much you wanted her to be a part of our family. And I have. You don't treat family like criminals. I'm not treating her like a criminal. And not just a criminal. A murder suspect. Maybe. I didn't want it to come to this. It's come to this because you suspect our daughter. Oh, and then you kept it to yourself. I had to find out by accident. Why? Why didn't you just tell me? You sound like Kendall and Greenlee talking about lying. Obsessed with him, but he's been through what he's done. He's got to start. Zach, those three have a lot of history, so it's unlikely that obsession is going to end anytime soon. No, probably never. Yeah, great. Hey, ladies. Hey. Do you need napping up? Oh, just, uh, just guy stuff. Guy stuff, huh? Yeah. We can't keep doing this. We have to tell them. Tell them what? I've tried to deny, but what's the point? Deny what? You have to stop denying it, too, Kendall. Come on. Okay, what's this? What are you talking about? You're not making any sense. We were upstairs talking about Ryan. We always talk about Ryan because... Because, oh, God, this is so hard. Because we're both so in love with him. Emma's still napping. Why don't we go upstairs, get into bed, get close to each other, make love? It's not that I don't want to, Annie. Then what? I need to understand why you did what you did. Ryan, I already told you. I'm sorry, but I don't buy it. I don't buy that you recorded Cass and Colby. Just to clear Zach, I think there's something else going on here, and I think that you're too afraid to tell me. I don't want you to be afraid, Annie. I want you to trust me. Tell me. You said you'd be honest with me, right? No more secrets. All right. 
right, there is more. I made that video to protect myself. <laughs>